Hey, what's up, everyone? Let's figure out what's going on with this direct. I haven't seen any rumors other than like the 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 fucking Metroid stuff. Other than that, who knows? But we're we're T minus one minute until it comes up, so we'll figure out what's going on there. Uh, I really don't have any expectations. Maybe. Maybe Capcom lied. Maybe there'll be some battle network. Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe there'll be like, a, I don't know, fucking. What, what needs support? Maybe Twilight Princess? I don't know. Something interesting, at least. Give me, give me some good. Give me some good for the Switch. Even though we just got the three hoes. And I do love them very much. Except for Clog. All right, 8 o'clock. Where, where the video at, Nintendo? Yo, where's it at, dog? You told me you'd be here. You told me you'd be here, Nintendo. Okay, RPG site already leaking that P5 Royal, Golden, and Persona 3 are confirmed for the Switch. That's cool. All right, here we go. What is this? And the land falls into chaos. The arch demon of the abyss shall rise from the earth. They this monster hunter sunrise again? Desperate attempt to survive. Both beast and man have more in common than they think. Boo! Yo, what's up, Valak? I fucking sleep the Monster Hunter, dude. Mostly because, like, World was okay, but then they did all that, like, invading monster shit, and it was just like, uh, you know? And it was like, uh. But Persona 5 on the Switch, not Cloud? That's crazy. That's crazy. Kingdom Hearts fans stay losing, bro. But also, Monster Hunter just gets like fucking tedious, dude. Yo, what's up, Swarls? It's just like kill monster to get gear to get the kill monster to get gear. What's it all for? What's it even mean? Bro, this is 25 minutes, bro. We're we're spending a lot of time on this game that we know about. Please, for the love of God. No, not an all day stream. Bro. Monster Hunter Rise, Sunbreak. All right, let's keep it moving though. Yeah, we've seen Sunbreak so much. I mean, they just put out a demo for it. 
Basil geese. See, that's why I left World, dude. I fucking hate Basil geese. He's always showing up, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it going, please. Like, it comes out in two days. And there's a demo, bro. We get it. Come on. Bro. Bro, please. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our publishing and development partners. Okay, okay. Okay, let's get into the headlines. The battle. To no, I hate near. Fuck me, dude. The year is Fuck me. AD. Machine life forms have overwhelmed the planet, causing the collapse of civilization oh. and forcing humans to take refuge on the moon. Now, with an android squad called Yorha, the humans are prepared to stand against these machine life form invaders. Automata, bro. I fucking sleep. I beat the ending of A. I beat I beat ending A, right? And that was pretty cool. That was pretty nice. The combat's like okay, but it's not. It's not like platinum enough for me. In the way that I'd like it, which is the only reason I played it in the first place. What will come of this bloodless battle? But, like fucking jeez. I mean, I started at Route B, and I had to play as fucking 9S during the same thing. Oh, that's cute. But I had to play as 9S doing the, and he just didn't have as much tools and stuff, and we had to replay the same story sections we already did. I was like, bro, this is not good. This is not good, bro. Cards? A maze of deceptions. A murder mystery. Is this Ace Attorney? A palace of memories. What, 12 minutes? What is this? Get ready to immerse yourself this is this a Suda game? Real riddles and a chilling story in this modern take on puzzle adventure games. This is like a Suda game. Yeah, not Cloud for near. Solve the enigma of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. That looks pretty cool. Wait, you said games that come out this year? What the fuck? You lied. Are making a splash in these games. Okay, what we got? Bomberman? New Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Super Switch. Bomberman R2. Time, Yo. A bombastic new mode called Castle Mode enters the fray. A team of up to 15 players must blast 15 player Bomberman. While one defending player That's tries to hold the fucking off. nuts. Set up your defense wisely to blow away opponents. Literally. You can also create and share your own battle stages. Have a blast when Super Bomberman R2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Another next year game. 10 Mega Man Battle Network games. Yo! Let's fucking go! Let's get it! Control Mega Man. Bomberman! No, Bomberman Mega Man! To gain devastating abilities. This collection we did it, boys. We fucking won. We fucking won, baby. When's this coming out? I need it. Right fucking now. We did it. We did it. Launches on Nintendo Switch next year. We fucking win. Also be digitally available as Hell yeah, brother. All fucking ten of them, too. A remake of Pac Man World is coming soon. Yeah, they're remaking Pac Man World? Pac -Man I love Pac Man World. Have been kidnapped. To rescue them, he sets off for Ghost Island. We did it. All you can we did it, boys. Trounce enemies with pack dots. The rev roll, the butt bounce, and a giant Pac Man? From high speed chases to I started a playthrough of Battle Network and I will gladly restart it on the Switch. Save the pack Just because it'll be easier that I don't have to emulate it. Launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. We fucking did it. 
two we goddamn did it. One incredible journey. A fawn and a wolf cub must work together to find a way home across the snowy wilderness in the handcrafted world of Blanc. In this emotional adventure, these unlikely friends must coordinate and use their individual strengths to solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid wilds. Blanc is a completely text-free story with local and Blanc. online co-op play. Okay, so actually this looks really cool. Sorry, I was... I was freaking out on, on the Discord. Forge an unexpected bond in Blanc. Let's fucking get it, boys. I'll play Blanc. Launching as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch, February 2023. Arr, a swashbuckling adventure returns. This Monkey Island? Yeah, this has to be Monkey Island. Pirating is in my blood. Like adrenaline or stale grog. I've been in enough scraps to fill a dozen scrapbooks. I've got stories about ships, fights, love, treasure, betrayal, and root beer. But how about one that has all of the above? My name is Guybrush Threeport, and this is a story about the time I finally found the secret of Monkey Island. This is a, this is a different art style for in, in, like entirely. Yo, who is that? Yo. Oh, this is a new one that they, they announced like maybe two months ago. <laughs> Welcome back, Swarls. This is gonna be. Yo, is that Davy Jones? Return to Monkey Island. Ooh, my stream is fucking up right now, dude. Monkey around in Return to Monkey Island, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this year. Next, we have some news about a game that was announced last June. Okay. Let's take a look. Mario and the Rabbit blast off for a galactic oh, yeah. adventure in the latest this game. Mario plus Rabbits game. I've never been a big fan of Mario plus Rabbits, but space is in a universe of it is what it is. Otherworldly enemies suddenly appear. I hear it's an alright game though. Their goal? It's like Take the energy XCOM for smart. babies. These mysterious creatures. Now our heroes must set out to save them. They put that new goth rabbit in that people are kind of freaked out about. You know that one? I'm like you guys are depraved. You'll initiate a turn-based battle when you encounter an enemy. Before we begin, here's something you ought to know. What is it? You can freely move around the battlefield as much as you'd like within your character's range before using their weapon. Pretty neat, huh? I mean, that makes let's sense. Mario. Three enemies are in the way, so let's dash into one of them. Oh, so you can take like actions now before you Rosalina and have her dash into another. Next, Rabbit Luigi. And then dash into another one. Dash, and now disruptor time. By using a dash first, then the weapon. Three enemies were wiped out. With that, his turn is over. Back to Mario. Let's take out the other two. Pew pew. You didn't have to say pew pew. Last you really didn't. Not least, Rabbit Rosalina. Team up with an ally and jump. Nuts, dude. Get position, then finish off with the Kaboomer. Okay, our turn's over. The Kaboomer. And now the enemy attacks. Be sure to take cover, and you might be safe. If God. you don't, it won't be pretty. All right. We've got the floor again. So I wonder if the Persona thing is actually going to show up here. I mean, I would assume so, but they've already announced it. 
Maybe they just maybe they they shot the gun a little early. That'll do it. But I guess they also figure like it's an on direct like it's a it's a video on demand, so people are just people can skim through it if they want. They don't actually have to watch it all throughout the whole thing. Bowser's on the team. What? It is like a spin-off. Bowser is not like completely evil. He's only the bad guy in the main game. Oh, there's another showcase tomorrow on the Ubisoft channel. Okay, okay, okay. You're looking forward to the chaotic adventures of Mario and the Rabbids. Let's take a look at more headlines. What else we got? We got about 10 minutes left. There's something for everyone on Nintendo Switch. During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. This is like a Braille Blue Fall. Oh, little Noah. Ruins changes every time Yo, Pac Man. Them. I'm excited for Pac Man. I played Pac Man World back when I was younger. I'll be down to play it again. String together combos and perform powerful elemental attacks to defeat foes. This looks interesting. Little Noah, Scion of Paradise, launches on Nintendo Oh, that doesn't look great. Later today. You shouldn't have zoomed in on that. All aboard! In the management sim Railgrade. Yo, Railgrade? Systems to efficiently transport cargo and help restore economic prosperity to an industrial colony. I figured I'd watch it all. Why not? I'm not doing shit. It's fucking eight in the morning. Your strategies will change based on various factors. Damn, if you really love trains, this is a game for you. Which resources to acquire and how to transport cargo from point A to point B. Railgrade steamrolls onto Nintendo Switch this fall. Okay, okay, okay. Join aspiring game creator Kenta in a hand-drawn adventure to save the world in his latest creation. I think I remember seeing this before. Taking place in Kenta. Oh no, or maybe he. RPG spans over 200 pages. Maybe he already had a game before. I remember something like this before. And even consult your handy calculator. Discover a new way to play every time you turn the page. RPG time: The Legend of Right. Unfolds onto Nintendo Switch August 18th. This looks hella familiar. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh shit. Spin dash into okay. a new zone. Sonic Frontiers. Sonic's latest action adventure kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands, home to a mysterious civilization. Here, you can freely dash through a vast open zone, taking full advantage okay. of Sonic's speedy skills. Lock on and switch tax looks a little, looks a little muddy here, but that's all right. Together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. Oh, what the fuck? Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal. I haven't really watched any of the, the Sonic Frontiers footage. You can also enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Cyberspace. Take on challenges at supersonic. Oh, that looks really good. And grab keys to progress. And these, those are probably like more standard levels. What awaits Sonic on these strange? Just give Sonic a gun. Like a just let him blast. Sonic Frontiers dashes on to Available this holiday. This holiday. But no concrete date that's kind of weird live magically alongside your disney and pixar friends what is this yo kingdom hearts idyllic land <laughs> disney and pixar characters lived in harmony until the first yo wally though dream into a nightmare now it's up to you to help these iconic residents yo wally lost memories and reveal the secrets that led you here Bring the magic back to Dreamlight Valley in this mesmerizing life simulation. Yo, Wally? Explore this land's many diverse realms and forge lasting friendships with heroes and villains alike. That is the open world Sonic. Personal stories to discover and adventures to complete. Help them out by exploring, giving them gifts, and performing other fun activities. In this world, you can be whoever you dream yourself to be. Yeah. Dreamlight Valley launches on <laughs> Nintendo Switch September 6th as a Dreamlight early Valley. Access title. Early access title? Okay, that's weird. Take these adventures with you on the go. But what we got? Live Alive is Live Alive 
on July 22nd. Oh shit, that's that's Multiple soon. Stories featuring different protagonists, time periods, and game. Yo, away. can we romance Olaf? HD 2D. A demo with the start of three chapters: Imperial China, Twilight. Imperial Japan, China. And the distant future. Yo, a demo for today? Available on Nintendo eShop later today. All right. Save data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Doraemon. No Doraemon. Their friends land on an unknown planet. I, I don't know what Doraemon is. His dreams by farming. This is a farming Doraemon game? Fields, harvest crops. And Doraemon a farmer? What, what is this? Even use Doraemon's secret gadgets. This is some like flash. this is some like Relax by like with deep friends. Japanese stuff, dude. Eating delicious meals and fishing. And with local play, Yo, you and a pack can build a ranch Yo. Doraemon, story of seasons, friends of the great king. I am losing on the frames like a bitch. This year. That's okay. I'm still recording. The world of Minecraft meets action strategy gameplay in Minecraft Legends. A beautiful land surrounded by rich nature is invaded by enemies from another dimension. Okay, yeah, good they're showing off more Minecraft Legends because that first trailer didn't really sell me. I'm still not really sold. Familiar universe. Minecraft Legends launches on Nintendo Switch next year. It's a treasure hunter's paradise. Dragon Quest something. Two siblings dream of collecting. That's Eric. That just looks like Eric. Venture to the realm of Draconia to become legendary treasure hunters. Is that Eric? In this Dragon Quest series spin-off, you'll recruit a variety of that is Eric. monsters to join you on a marvelous adventure. With their help, and with your trusty fortune finder, locating loot will be a breeze. The fuck is Eric doing monsters here? Are a perfect travel I love Eric. This vast world. Bounce on a slime to reach high ledges. Man, Dragon Quest games always look so fucking fun. Over gaping chasms. Support your monsters in battle as they fearlessly fend off foes. Bring your hard-earned haul back Yo. to your base and see how much it's worth. Collect more riches to expand your base and increase your treasure hunting level. X marks the spot when Dragon Quest Treasures launches on Nintendo Switch December 9th. That's not bad. I might pick that up. Oh, shit. This is like a highlight reel? That was three hoes. No Man's Sky. Whatever that is. Rat game? Yeah, three hoes. Pull me some three hoes. All right. Oh, it's almost over. That's why we're doing this. Plague Tell Requiem, cloud version. You know, Switch has games. They're getting more and more games. Captain Velvet Meteor. That's like a cool RPG. Maybe? It looks really confusing. Oh, why does that look sad? Yo, what, what? Aperture? Oh yeah, the Portal games are coming to the Switch. I don't know why I forgot. I don't know why I forgot. I love Portal. Your participation is appreciated and required. Portal's a cool ass game, dude. If you haven't played Portal by now, dude, you're fucking missing out. Yo, I can't afford it, but yo. Let's get started, you monster. Good shit, dude. Farm, fight, and forge friendships in what is this? a new fantasy world. Welcome to Leafy, a peaceful village. Harvestella. Color the environment. This Your is pretty, story though. Begins here in this brand new life simulation RPG. Do a little farm work. Damn, you're telling me I can farm in this and Doraemon? And trek Yo, farmers rise up, bro. Farmers rise up. All while meeting townsfolk along the way. The seasons gently flow from spring, summer, Yo. fall, and winter. Some pretty backgrounds. What the However, fuck is that? They will give way to the season of death. Excuse me? Quietus. Crops wither. 
No, Jip. I don't have money, Jip. I'm just gonna try to get a code like every like all the normal like all the normies, dude. Find a way to stop this shouldn't be hard. Harvestella. Launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Oh, yeah. There's Persona. There it is. Man, I can't believe Twitter ruined the stinger of the direct. Right fucking at the start. Like, frame one on the dot, dude. October 21st. This P5 is good as fuck, though. The Switch finally has Persona now. They can shut the fuck up. They get it. They got, They have it now. Not a cloud version. Again, Cage fans stay losing, bro. They get Switch gets fucking near and Persona zero. Yo, Teddy! Yo, Persona Four Golden, baby. Yeah, I love Persona Four Golden. Oh, they're just gonna they're gonna have Teddy announce three two because Koromaro doesn't fucking speak. Ooh yeah! Ba -da 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 -da. Baby baby Keep your eyes peeled for okay. more persona. I wonder why they're rolling them out in, in different waves. Maybe just cause better sell? That's I don't know. For today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. Yeah. I'm definitely going to pick up Persona 5 on PC because uh, I already own it on PS5 or PS4, I guess. But uh, Battle Network, fuck yeah, bro. God damn. Can't believe we won like that, dude. Do you know it wasn't there? Metroid Prime. That's why you don't believe the rumors because... You get your hopes up. That shit was not in there. Not at all. God, hold on. God, I gotta watch it again, dude. I was too busy popping the fuck off. Wait a sec. Ten Mega Man Battle Network. So yeah. One, two, blue, white. So even the different versions. Cause they did I don't know why they did a they did a team like like a Pokemon kind of dual version thing. So one, two, blue, white, blue moon, red sun, team colonel, team proto man, side beast, Gregor, and side beast, Falzar. Games originally released nine, 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 nine. No star force though. But God damn, I can't believe they did it. Shit's so fucking good. Only thing I don't like about this game is that the fucking navigating the, the internet it's like a fucking maze. Shit's so fucking confusing. At least when you're trying to get from place to place. The more like, uh, like, like chapter dungeons are, are a little more concise. I remember that one. Pac-Man World. Okay, 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 okay. Not his family. Not his family. He sets off for Ghost Island. Eating dots isn't all you can do here. Trounce enemies with yeah, see, I don't think I'll play Pac-Man World 1. I think I'll play 2. And a giant Pac-Man? From high-speed chases... Yo, what, uh, who drives in first person? You'll explore all sorts of zany levels. Save the Pac-Fan in Pac-Man World Repack. Launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. Yo, that's still cool, though. But yeah, like... Launching on the Nintendo near 
We got Snooze Fest Monster Hunter. I don't like Nier, but it's still cool to, to get on the Switch. Laser Eyes, whatever this is. No switch, Nick. Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, that's pretty good. Battle Network, Poggers. Pac-Man World, Poggers, Blanc. Launch and online they look pretty good play. with so co-op play as well. Enjoy it. Like some, like some Fox and the Hound type shit. That's not bad. Uh, what is this? This is the Monkey Island, the new is one. And this Mario and Rabbits. People will probably enjoy that. A new what was this? This was the uh, Little Noah. Launches on Nintendo Switch. How does it even work? Little Noah, Scion Just, you're spending your 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 teammates there. Yeah, go get some rest. It's, it's fucking early. Sonic Frontiers, Train Game, uh, Legend of Right. Okay. Live live a live live alive. Gets a demo. The Disney game, whatever that. I've I've already forgotten about that. But yeah, I mean we're we're doing pretty good. It's a pretty good. Pretty good Nintendo Direct. All in all, all things considered, yo, Scar. Either way, let's uh, let's. Is there anyone live that we can raid? I I would doubt it, right? It's fucking again. It's eight thirty in the morning. Uh, but depending on if I get into the Overwatch thing, I'll be back later. If not, I'll probably still be back later to play some three hoes. And uh, I will. I'm gonna raid HMK. I'm gonna fucking raid HMK. Here we go, boys. You ready? Raid HM Killer. It's about to go down, boys. And uh, I'll see you later. Maybe. Probably. <laughs>